the temperature three hours ago was negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the temperature is negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit. Find the change in temperature for the past three hours. So let's think carefully about the information that's given to us in this problem before we jump in and start trying to do any math. So let's see what they've told us. They've told us that the temperature three hours ago was negative two degrees Fahrenheit. We want to be sure to keep track of that negative sign. Now the temperature is negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're being asked to find the change in temperature. So it's always important to know what it is they're asking us to look for. So we're trying to find the change in temperature for the past three hours. So something we want to keep in mind is this idea of what a change in a quantity means. The change in a quantity is the ending amount minus the beginning amount. So that's always how we want to be thinking about this when we're talking about the change. The order is going to be important. We always want to be sure to start with the ending amount and then subtract the beginning amount. So if I'm looking for the change in temperature, well, I want to take the ending amount. Well, the ending amount is where we're at now. It's negative 13 degrees. So the change is going to equal negative 13. Okay. And then what are we going to be doing? We're going to subtract. So I want to be sure that I subtract. Okay, there's the subtraction. And I want to subtract the beginning amount. Well, the beginning amount, they told us three hours ago, it was negative 2. So we're going to subtract negative 2 as my beginning amount. Now, we want to be careful here. Anytime we have two operation signs right next to each other, just like this, we want to be sure that we use our parentheses so we don't get tangled up with what's going on. This tells us we're going to be doing negative 13 minus negative 2. So that's the way we're going to be working here. So my change, negative 13 minus negative 2, well, instead of subtracting, let's add the opposite. Okay, so negative 13, instead of subtracting, let's add. The opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. And negative 13 plus 2 well, the signs are different, so we take the difference and keep the sign of the, the 13 because that's the one with the larger negative or larger absolute value. So my answer is going to be negative, negative 11 when we subtract the 13 and the 2. And then if we want to make sure that that makes sense to us, well, let's just think about if we thought about, a, a, um, well, that's not very good. If we think about a kind of a, a thermometer, and if we consider that I've got a thermometer, and if I started at negative 2, so here was negative 2, and now it's down to negative 13, notice that my temperature has dropped, so we would certainly expect that the change would be negative, and to go from negative 2 to negative 13, yeah, it would have dropped 11 degrees. So be sure that you answer the question clearly. So how we're going to answer our final question, we want to respond in a sentence. So the change in temperature was negative 11. And negative 11 what? Was it negative 11 feet, negative 11 miles? No, it was negative 11 degrees. Fahrenheit. That was the information for the other temperatures that were given in the problem. So that's how, and let me start off with the word the here. So the change in temperature was negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's how we would want our final answer to look for this problem.